Making masks is so easy. So I've got my stamped image on masking paper on the mat. Then what we're gonna do is go into scan, direct cut, and scan it in. And once it's scanned in, we should be able to see some nice little cactus here. Now, for some reason, it's not loving my scan. Now we can try, we can see what happens um, if we go in here and boost the color one direction or the other. We can also see sometimes I get a better read color versus grayscale, but look at what that did, okay? So it said, no, you don't have an outline. Now it says we do have an outline and you can see that it's great now. Uh, the only other thing we can do is if there's any small objects, I don't think there is here. Okay, we don't need to do anything. The only other thing is outline distance. Now, if you ever buy the die cuts that come with matching stamps, it's 0.04 is basically what you're gonna get, which is just a slightly outline. Me, I'm gonna go point negative one, which basically means it's gonna be drawing along that line and it should be perfect for masking. I'm just gonna say cut and this will just take a second. We'll be ready to create. Now, as I was filming, apparently between cutting and scanning, I bumped the paper over. So you can see how it's off just a little, the cut is a little up and a little to the left. And initially I thought, shoot, I have to throw this away. I have to start all the way over, except that I do not. Because while the cut was slightly, slightly off, the mask isn't off at all. The mask is perfectly fine. All I have to do is lay it down here on my cactus. And you can see that I can do all of my coloring off of here. Then this is where it gets really, really fun. So I can also do the opposite. And what I mean by that is I can take this paper. Oh, I need to be careful that I don't rip anything here. Take this paper and I can lay it over so that I am only covering the background and so that I color my cactus and nothing else gets touched. Isn't that fun? I hope you've liked this easy tutorial for how to make your own masks with your stamps. You could also do hand doodled. Oh my goodness, there are so many options here. If you have any questions or requests for future, please do let me know. I'm gonna go play around with some coloring of this that I think I'll feature in a separate video, I'm trying to keep these short and sweet for you guys. All right, I will see you next time.